It has been described as shuttle diplomacy. Stick around to find out how Qatar stepped in to help produce a major deal between Iran and the US. Residents highlight a spike in fake investment calls across the country. How do content creators in Qatar feel about a 25,000 real business license? And finally, it's more wins for Qatari football as the QFA chief is elected as vice president of the Union of Arab Football Association. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Iran and the United States are on the brink of a prisoner exchange thanks to Qatari diplomats who have been acting as intermediaries for the better part of two years. While representatives from both Tehran and Washington have been stationed at different hotels in Doha, there have been no direct talks between the two adversaries. Instead, Qatari diplomats have been engaged in what has been described as quote, shuttle diplomacy to mediate between both parties. Now, five Americans in Iran could be exchanged for Iranian nationals detained in the US, and Washington could unlock six billion dollars worth of blocked Iranian assets. For the entire report, head over to our website. Now, residents in Qatar say they have been hit with a barrage of fraudulent calls from cyber scammers in the last few weeks, amid an 88% rise in phishing attacks during the first quarter of 2023. Victims of the scam say the callers are posing as agents, offering investment opportunities with the Qatar Central Bank. One person who spoke to Doha News said their mother was hit with up to 40 calls. In other news, content creators who spoke to Doha News have reacted to a law that categorizes them as personal advertisers. The law stipulates content creators must pay a 25,000 real fee to the Ministry of Culture for their license that can be renewed yearly for 10,000 reals. While some say this will help regulate content creation in the country, others have described it as business unfriendly. And finally, Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Thani, the honorary president of the Qatar Football Association, has been chosen to lead in a brand new role. The Union of Arab Football Associations for the Continent of Asia unanimously elected Sheikh Hamad as the new vice president. This comes just months after Sheikh Hamad was chosen as a member of the FIFA Council, the highest decision-making authority in international football. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.